Hello. 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 The, the bottom line, how are you guys? Very well. Well, thank you. Good. Good. They're great. Good. Positively negative. Nice. That's a throwback. That's a, that's, that's a great way to describe it. I like I, I it. quite enjoy this. Everyone just keep talking and watch Matt trying to keep up. It's brilliant. He's the same guy today. <laughs> <laughs> You're at Slam Dunk. Yeah. yeah. How, how was your day yesterday and today? Because I caught you as I walked past. So you're the first band I've seen this year. Oh, well, two years. So. What a title to hold in your life. I know. We're grateful I'm going to remember that. this forever. <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel to be back on a stage? Amazing. Feels so good to actually, you know, I think um, it was 18 months or something since our last tour. Uh, I mean, oh, okay, 20. I've been corrected. Um, so yeah, it's just nice just to get back to what we're supposed to be doing. You know, yeah. we're a band. We're supposed to be playing shows, and of course, we've had two years of nothing. So yeah, it's good. It's really good. What, how do you feel, Max? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> nice. It's it's been amazing to be back on stage. It's something we've been waiting for for so long. So I think like even though you're releasing music and you're still doing music stuff and you're still having fun with your mates rehearsing, etc., yeah. not playing a gig, everything just starts to feel a bit stagnant. So I mean, I feel like ten thousand. Obviously, the seat. <laughs> <laughs> it would make no difference if I said 100 or 10,000. So, playing in a band is part of your personality. It's part of your character, isn't it? So, yeah. if you can't do that in your life, you, I, I felt like I was changing personally. I was getting well upset. <laughs> I was getting well angry that I wasn't playing music. So, yeah, it's nice to sort of feel, feel ourselves again. I think. I think a lot of people will agree with that. And I mean, the reason why you're doing these shows and things like that is because you've been writing music. And you have a new single out as well called you Broke. Well, I'm playing Broke, so you can tell me about that one. I don't care about the other one. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's kind of good. It's all about Broke anyway. Yeah. Yes. Tell, tell us about it. Um, it's about being broke and uh, not having that much money. Now, uh, we, we kind of just wrote it in a practice room. Uh, played that monotonous riff over and over again on the acoustic. We kept singing really stupid songs over it for a long time. We'd all give us uh, each other topics to think about we sang over it for about an hour and it got really funny and really out of hand um, with another song as well didn't we yeah we did yeah um, and then uh, we ended up writing broke we just said oh we're being broke today but we wrote that we kind of, that song came together in like a day yeah. at the most and uh, we wanted to write something festivals as well didn't we we wanted to have like a big festival song and I think that one yeah, ticks the box a, it's such an easy sing along like, even today that people who hadn't heard it at the beginning by the end of it they knew every lyric to it because it's just such an easy song to remember yeah. and it's relatable Everyone's broke all the time, <laughs> apart from millionaires. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're never broke. It's, they're even less broke. <laughs> they're so unbroke. <laughs> they, they don't find it relatable, so we're probably targeting the wrong people. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, if you want those donations, you're going to have to change, those, change, this, change the song. Yeah. Oh, I'm sick we'll of have, being we'll have so a song rich. song in a year's time called Rich. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, now you've released two singles, uh, are, are we gearing up to a bigger body of work? Great hits. Yes. Yeah, great. Hits will be out soon. On time. On tape. <laughs> uh, Ooh. VHS <laughs> only is the music videos. <laughs> yeah. No, um, we're just we're just releasing music as it goes now at the moment, which comes we can't, we don't want to have a pressure of having to keep the same genre at the moment. So we're just gonna write a song. If we like it, we'll release it, make a video for it, release it as a single, and then maybe eventually it will uh, it'll come together as a compilation of either an EP or an album. We're not quite sure yet, but. Kind of just enjoying it, doing whatever we want at the moment. It's kind of feels really refreshing, and somehow, even though these last two singles are completely different to our other album, they blend in the set like they've been there for years. It's really nice. Yeah, I think it's one of those things like. Moment, we, we've always sort of gone down that sort of road of the sort of pop punk niche, and we focus on that. And now we're kind of just writing stuff for us. I mean, like, you know, we like heavier stuff as well. So there's a song we've got the demo sounds amazing. That's like way heavier. Then we've got stuff that's way more on the poppy side. We're just kind of writing for us and hoping everybody likes it, yeah. basically. In that position now, where it's just like, we're just going to write songs that we think are fucking cool, and instead of spending three hours, three hours? Fuck me, that'd be impressive. Three years, hello, half a beer. Uh, three, <laughs> three years writing an album and releasing it in one hit, you know, those days are gone, so just drip feeding music, and I think that makes you so much more creative, and I think every single song you write now is a single, yeah. as opposed to, you know, a collection of tracks and you pick your favourite, you're literally writing a song to release as a single every time, and I think that's changing our writing process as well, so... Yeah. Great answer. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now you've experienced what it's like being back on a stage again, I'm sure you'll be wanting to be out on tour oh, yeah. as oh, soon yeah. as possible. Good God, yeah. Good God, yeah. Well, we do have a show uh, October 10th in Camden Assembly. Uh, that's our only show this year because 
we kind of want to focus. We want to because we, we toured so much before COVID. We want to kind of we want to have a bit more bit more music before we go out touring again. We want everything. We want it to feel like a brand new set again. Really, I think two songs is good, but I know, I know. we'd like to have a few more before that. Yeah. So I mean, we've got um, in sort of January, February, we've got Europe coming up, and we're hoping to sort of tag on some sort of UK shows around that. But it's all in the talks, all in the works. Can't wait to just get back on the road, do it properly. Good. Excellent. Well, guys, it's been great having a catch up. You've spoken to me in those places. Shirts. That's it. No one recognises the beard or anything else. It's a shirt. Yeah. Why don't you dye your beard to match the shirt? Ah, then they'll know. Why don't you dye your shirt to match the beard? Ah. Don't think outside the box. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, I'd have to dye my beard. Think outside the beard. Make a shirt of hair. You know what they say? If you got shoes, wear them. If you got beards, grow them. Yeah. If you got a dog, walk it. Do you know what I mean? If you're cold, you guys said it better yourself. <laughs> if you got a cold, if you're cold, put a shirt on. We give good life advice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and and if you could give one bit of advice to the viewers and the listeners, God, what would that one thing be? Uh, things are funny when they're funny. Yeah. I I think that's a really inspirational quote. I think we'll just no. That one just really. just please keep supporting with us and keep. Uh, Keep listening to our music and keep supporting us no matter what we're doing. Keep coming to our shows, make us happy, we'll keep going. Yeah, enjoy music and I think people have realised like how like lucky we are to have live music. I think we're in a country where entertainment is so oversaturated yeah. that you're fighting for people's attention all the time. And if you're not releasing something every two seconds, you're you know, you're quickly out of the light and yeah. uh, I think everyone sort of really appreciates bands and live music after this pandemic and I, I hopefully when shows start coming back like they are, I think the atmosphere is going to keep getting better and people won't take it for granted again. I certainly won't. So, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Keep coming to shows. Yes. Excellent. That is the advice. Keep coming to shows. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey,